And we can do things ministerially through executive order or otherwise that can help a lot of people, as an example. Like delays, we can do delays of various filings. And yeah, I could see that happening, Steve. I think a thing like that could happen. Mr. Peter? President, people have lived off $1,200, those checks, a lot of them, for a couple of months. Should they be expected to live off that same 1200 for the next couple of months, or is more money coming? Well, something could happen. There is talk about something happening, and we'll see what uh, what's going on. But you know, the, the, you know, know the greatest happen. thing that could happen? If we could get our country open again mm -hmm. and get it going again right. and have people have these great jobs again. How is it possible that someone who tested positive for COVID-19 got so close to you? Well, I think probably that has to do with the fact that uh, we all believe in tests. We have the best tests in the world. Uh, but uh, they were tested. I believe they're tested on a weekly basis. Uh, I just had a test, as you probably heard. In fact, I had one yesterday, and I had one today. Uh, and uh, it's uh, negative. Uh, Mike just had a test, and it's negative. Uh, but they do the tests, and it just shows you that the the fallacy. It's what I've been saying: testing is not a perfect art. No matter what you do, testing is not a perfect art. So we test once a week. Now we're going to go testing once a day. But even when you test once a day, somebody could something happens where they catch something. Uh, but uh, we we uh, I've had very little uh, contact, personal contact with this gentleman. Uh, know who he is, good person, but I've had very little contact. Mike has had very little contact with him. Uh, but Mike was tested, and I was tested. We were both tested.